Hey Manoa, this Manoa memo is a little different. Usually I'm talking about upcoming events, but today I want to talk about prayer at revival. Most of you have seen on social media the Asbury uh, revival that's been breaking out at that university, and our elders are celebrating that. We've been texting all week. The leaders of our denomination have sent representatives to go check it out and what we can learn from it and just see the activity of God. And the sovereignty of God is really cool because we've been gearing up at Manoa to pray for college students, and this was locked in. In fact, next Thursday is a collegiate day of prayer that we're seeking to get behind. And so we're gonna show a video this Sunday. This was already planned. In the video, you'll see Francis Chan, who is actually going to go to this very university to pray for revival. So God is already answering this prayer before we uh, started to pray it as a church. He's getting in front of us, which is what the Holy Spirit does. We see in Acts 2 and Acts 15, when the Holy Spirit is poured out, that is God's initiative and we're following God in the fullness of the Holy Spirit. And so I want to call you to pray into this. Um, my life was transformed in college. Many of you were transformed in college. I was part of Drexel. You'll meet a lot of Drexel people here who we either led to Christ or brought into the church. A lot of the missions movements happened in colleges where college students who graduated then went to the missions field. And so God often uses young people, many of the apostles uh, were teenagers in early 20-somethings, right, to change the world. And one of our missing demographics, even here at Manoa in our revitalization, is that college age. And we've been focused on Haverford and Bryn Mawr College. We've been praying for those schools uh, for years. In fact, I preached on there pre-COVID and led a couple students to Christ who started to come here, but we don't really have a strong college-age ministry at our church yet. One exciting development, Lindsay, who you're going to meet on Sunday, who's praying into the college ministry, she's on staff with InterVarsity, and she and her husband and their family have recently joined Benoa's members. She's also one of our new missionaries, and her assigned campuses are Bryn Mawr and Haverford. And she is super excited to work with us as a church to support those campus ministries. She's looking for people to give rides and carpools. And so you're gonna hear her in the send snapshot, the minute for mission. But this Sunday, she's also gonna lead us in a time of prayer, not only for those campuses, but for colleges across the land. The future thought leaders of our country are in the universities. And also all the nations come to our country to study at our universities. And so if we reach the university, we will reach the world for Christ. So I wanna call us to pray into that. Whether next Thursday, if you wanna do that, the prayer team on Wednesday, please pray into that. In your small groups, please pray into that. If you live near Haverford and Bryn Mawr and you have the ability to drive, um, maybe you can offer yourself to Lindsay. We'll introduce you to her and start to provide carpools. My experience, if we provide carpools, some food after church, and a place for college students to meet, this place will have dozens, if not hundreds of college students one day. And uh, we want to be a church that reaches the next generation for Christ. That includes reaching teens, of course, our children, which we're doing a great job, but also reaching the college campuses. So I want you to pray into that. We'll pray this Sunday for colleges for the collegiate day of prayer and also continue to pray for revival to break out in our country, starting with college students and starting with us. Amen. So click on all those videos that we've included in this memo. We'll see you this Sunday as we pray for the colleges of our nation. We'll also look at Moses's life continuing in the book of Hebrews chapter 11. See you Sunday at 10 o'clock.